All right, here we go. Good afternoon or evening or wherever you're at. This is Jeff on my channel. What you're seeing here is a handful of photographs of me uh, back in the 80s and 90s. Today we're going to talk about stolen valor and documents. Yeah, yeah, I know. There's a lot of stolen valor, stolen valor videos out there. And, of course, a lot of them are staged, I'm pretty damn sure. I mean, I've seen a lot of them. But today we're going to talk about this certain kind of stolen valor. Um, very rarely I run into stolen valor outside of the VA. Once in a while I would run into it maybe in a restaurant or maybe at a car show or something. I ran into it in a jack-in-the-box uh, a few weeks ago. But today we're going to talk about the VA waiting room type of stolen valor. I've heard more fucking war stories and bullshit inside the VA waiting room than I have probably ever have out in the streets. And all these guys come up with all these outrageous and crazy stories. But what we're going to talk about um, is proof and documentation. A lot of these guys, if confronted or they confront you, will say, hey, dude, can you prove that you're a veteran? There's been times I've walked around with my veteran's hat on. It says, uh, you know, the 160th Infantry on it, OIF or OEF, which I'm a veteran of, both of them. Um, I don't look like the everyday, more modern-day veteran now since I have been retired since 2009. And it's been about nine years, roughly. So I grow a beard, my hair has grown longer, and, uh, you know, some people will want to ask me about it. If you're confronted by somebody, or you confront them, usually the best thing to ask them if they have proof that they're a veteran. Especially people wearing um, uh, foreign wars hats. You know, I see guys wearing... You know, combat wounded, Iraq, combat wounded, Vietnam, or Afghanistan veteran, or whatever. And you're kind of like, you're not really sure about them. I myself was confronted once, uh, just recently. And this guy claimed to be in the 82nd Airborne. And he was like, yeah, man, I was in the 82nd Airborne. I said, oh, okay, that's pretty pretty far out in Pretty cool, dude. Yeah, man, you know, I'm 82nd Airborne, but you're wearing a veteran hat, dude. Are you a veteran? I said, actually, yes, I am. I would not be wearing this hat, you know, unless uh, you're just looking for trouble, and especially if you're looking, you know, to get busted for stolen valor. You know, so this guy, he claimed to be an 82nd Airborne guy, and he saw my, uh, my uh, OIF and OEF hat, and he asked me, can I prove who I am? I said, well, sure I can. Now, when you ask for proof and you ask these guys, now normally if you're at places like the VA, 99.9% .9 of those guys will have a VA card. Okay? This is the uh, this is the old ones now, but I still have mine. Um, this is VA card. You know, a lot of guys are going to have VA cards. You're going to ask them, hey, let me see your VA card. And you know what? You could be a non-war veteran and still have a damn VA card. Even spouses and even kids will have them. Okay? You know, this is proof that they are a veteran, okay? This is proof. Okay? Um, I also got one of the newer ones. This is one of the newer VA cards you're probably going to end up finding uh, most of the time now. Um, this is a spare for me. And just in case I lose the old one, but this is the spare one I keep at home, and I use and I keep the old one with me in my wallet. So if I lose this, I'll have the new one. So sometimes you just have to show them their VA card. Now most of the time, if you're in the, out in the out in the public, that usually is enough for anybody, uh, especially at the VA. But when you start hearing them talk about war stories and all this other bullshit, you know, you're kind of like, eh, I don't know, man. You know, I had a guy that, you know, said that I didn't even look like I've ever been anywhere. So what I did is I broke out my veteran 
a Forum Wars car. My BA, my my BFW lifetime membership card. Okay. Now, if you ask these so-called war veteran guys who claim to be in the American Legion or whatever, or disabled American veterans, boom, you know, ask them for this. Now, the only way you can get one is to be a veteran of foreign war or somewhere in conflict. That means it could be anything from um, Vietnam, Grenada, Panama, Lebanon, Somalia, El Salvador, any of those other things. But ask them. Ask them if they can prove it, you know. You can join the VFW with any of those kind of conflicts. Or you've been somewhere that gives you hostile fire pay. This right here is one of my LESs, hostile fire. Imminent danger, hostile fire pay. You can actually join the VFW if you're on a boat or a ship somewhere and you're in hostile waters. You could be on a big-ass aircraft carrier. But as long as that LES says hostile fire, imminent danger... You can actually join the VFW without even being anywhere near actual uh, an actual shooting. So if that doesn't do it, you know, then ask them, well, dude, you know, do you have V, you know, do you have a uh, ID cards? Well, you know what? I happen to have some old cat cards. I know some of you guys will carry some of these, these old cat cards. I know a lot of guys will carry their cat cards. I got cat cards too. And all these are expired, some of them up to 10, 12 years. But I got cat cards. I got plenty of them. I got plenty of old cat cards. There you go. Cat cards. If you want to use that. Or, if you really want to blow their mind, break out some of the old ones. And these are some of my old uh, ID cards from way, 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 way back in the 80s. Had the old uh, green ones. Had the brown... Um, had the brown medical uh, card, which I have. There's me. And here's the old National Guard ID card from back in the 80s. Break that out. So there you go, you know. Legit. Pretty much legit. Old cards. Old ID cards. Now, some of these other guys are going to be saying, hey, what the hell, dude? Blah, blah, blah. And almost all videos... Are going to be screaming about DD 214s. That's right, DD 214s. Now, since I'm running out of power here, I'm going to cut this off and go to part two, where we'll discuss DD 214s and NGBGs 22s.